Hey guys, so today we are going to my storage unit. A lot of you guys said that you wanted to see a storage clean out video and we're here to start that today. It's going to be a multiple day process, I imagine, because it's just not gonna all get done. Um, today is August 28th and I technically have to pay my bill today for the storage unit, so I'm gonna try to clean it out by the first of the month of September. So we have a couple days to clear it out. I don't know if that's going to happen, but fingers crossed we can so I don't have to pay a whole other month of rent for this storage unit. So a little background on the storage unit. I actually got it when I was 23. So in 2013, I, well, for like a year I had lived alone and it was just becoming too expensive at the time. So I had to move back home with my parents at the age of 23. So I lived with them for a couple years and I had to put a bunch of stuff in storage because they only had like a small, small bedroom for me to move into and didn't have much space in their garage for me. So I had to open a storage unit for myself and I've just always had it. And so there is stuff in that storage unit from my old apartment when I lived alone in 2013. So we're gonna clear it out for the first time in six years. Today is just gonna be a casual trip though because I'm gonna go grab my Halloween decor out of storage because that's gonna be, you know, happening very, very soon. Anyway, but I I am tired of paying for a storage unit. I'm, I, at my age, at 29, I just don't need this much stuff in my life and it is so overwhelming to own this much stuff and it just causes more anxiety than I get anything out of owning this stuff. So we're gonna try to make use of all the space in our apartment, keep my stuff there. I'm gonna get rid of most of the stuff in the storage unit and yeah, we'll see what happens with this video. But I thought I would start it today. We're gonna do a couple loads and let's go. Here's my Halloween decor right in the front. This is the big piece of furniture that we're gonna have to move with a truck most likely. Man, there is a lot of garbage in here. I'm probably gonna store some stuff at Ryan's parents' garage and then throw away what we can't store pretty much and get rid of, donate some stuff probably. Should've brought like a blanket or something to put down on my car seat. Really dirty. I just have old toothpaste and silverware in my storage unit. What what is this? stuff in this car which is great what even is this storage Christmas book Sarah okay so we fit a lot of stuff in the car it's almost fully packed I have room in the trunk so we've actually kind of made a dent like look there's no more stuff here in the front and I kind of made a dent up here took all the Christmas stuff out or most of it anyway I think I'm gonna try to fit these blankets and sleeping bags 
in my trunk at least so we can put those in the apartment. All I know is that if it doesn't fit in my little apartment and my car, I don't want it. I don't need it because no one needs that much stuff just not being used and for no purpose at all. So anything we need to store Christmas, Halloween stuff, Halloween's gonna go in our closet. We're gonna make room for that and then Christmas Ryan's parents' garage, and then beyond that, we don't need extra storage. There's just no need, I need to cut back. Grab that! Oh. We got it! It's my old school bag from college. I think it still, yep, it still has all my old notebooks from college too. Because I still need that. You know, I graduated like two years ago, three years ago even. We don't need it. But I like the bag, I'm gonna keep the bag. But I don't need the stuff in it, so I'm gonna go through that. That's a heavy box, I'm not gonna grab that. These hangers, what do I do with these hangers? I loved them so much, but now they're just not functional because they're so fat that you can't fit that many clothes on a rack because they're so big. I guess I'll donate them somewhere or give them away or something. I don't know, where am I even gonna put these? I didn't think this through. Okay, we have first load. It looks like I'm moving. Like my car is just full of stuff, which most of this stuff actually is stuff I'm keeping because it was all in the front of the storage unit. So it's everything that I pretty much use except for like random stuff. A bag of bags, you know, just arts and crayons. But there's nails in here. Do I wear nails? No, but you know, a lot of holiday decor is what this is, so we're gonna make room for that at my house, but since it's Halloween time anyway, it's going up, so I'm gonna have to worry about storing that for a little while until like November. Just a quick update to what I took from storage yesterday. So all of these boxes over here are the old Christmas decor boxes. So I've consolidated all of our decor into this bin here. So I went and bought this at Target. So now all of our Christmas decor lives in this bin conveniently and it's just easier to navigate and I can get rid of those old boxes that are over six years old. And then we basically just have the Halloween decor and then a sleeping bag that'll go away and a suitcase that'll go away. Um, and then I threw away my first box of trash of just pure garbage. So that was very ceremonious for me. But now we can get rid of these boxes over here and throw those in the trash. All right, it is day two at the storage unit. Sorry, I'm looking rough. This these this video is gonna be a lot of this because we're going through a storage unit. So no makeup. It's not gonna happen. So today's day two. I'm gonna try to do two loads today. Also, it's pretty cool that they have security cameras everywhere. So they are probably watching me film this whole process and wondering why I'm doing it. I don't know. So the goal of today is going to be more boxes. Now from here on out, most of this is garbage. So I'm definitely gonna work on making a dent into all this stuff. Maybe I can do a Goodwill run eventually because I know I'm gonna be donating a lot of stuff because I just don't know what to do with it. So let's load the car, see what we got. Stephen King books in here. Oh, sorry, Dean Koontz. My apologies to the King. Actually, I do have Stephen King books in here under the dome. I have the remnants of the Harry Potter wand. Well, it, it was a snake wand. And I lost the wand. I don't know what happened to it. And I've cried over it, trust me. Coastal Sense eyeshadow. All right, well, this box is a little sad. wig. Anyone remember what this is from? Oh my hand! I think it's time to put this in my car. It like hangs out of your trunk. <laughs> the rest of my Stephen King books. So glad I found these. Oh shit. So we have a predicament here. <sighs> these boxes back here are leaning on this couch which <coughs> All this dust is really getting to me. But these boxes are leaning on this couch which has to come out before I can really get them. <laughs> so I don't know how that's gonna work because it's gonna fall. But I don't, I can't have them fall. So 
I don't know what to do. I'm gonna move these boxes of books though, like my childhood books are in here. I don't know what I'm gonna do with all of these. I have way more stuff than I thought I did. <laughs> have more Halloween shit in here like well the stuff fell so I might have an issue in a second <laughs> the brown box is full of dirt from American Horror Story Roanoke and I need to get that turned up right side up because now it's just gonna let all the dirt out but the fall wasn't that bad I think we can still pull the couch out and it'll be okay are all my goosebumps books that's a train going by by the way the train if you remember we might have more stuff this time than yesterday and this is going to be the hardest part because yesterday was mostly stuff i was keeping it just needed to be organized this stuff however there's a lot of garbage in here and a lot of stuff i have to get rid of and this one, this trip and the next trip are gonna be a struggle. Okay, wanted to give you guys a little bit of an update. So I have consolidated some boxes. So here we have two boxes of books, three boxes of books, and then some like frames and stuff. Some have pictures in them, some don't. So I ended up finding all of my old school books from the last year or two when I was in college. So I have a sex role stereotyping in American education class that I really loved so I'm keeping that textbook my social psych text which is all in pages but I do really love this class I took it twice and then I also found the controversial issues in psychology book which I love so and then this is just like a random urban outfitters book that I've had forever and then this is like a notebook with my notes and stuff from school so this is all pretty much trash that's not but that's going away later today um, but this is all trash that I've collected so I've gone through probably like eight boxes and I'm getting rid of so much stuff this is Halloween stuff that came from storage and I've just kind of consolidated it because this box had Halloween stuff in it but now I've turned it into a donate box so I can go and take this to Goodwill eventually Picked up the truck you haul Kind of a process to rent a truck honestly but it's okay now we got a truck now we can go move all the furniture in my storage unit this is gonna be a day <laughs> what's behind door number one <laughs> open it lovely assistant garbage. It does look a lot better yeah. than the other uh, time I was here. All right, so we did end up getting a furniture dolly, which is really heavy, so I'm not going to get that. How are we going to lift the couch up to that? Mm -hmm. It's really high. No, we definitely could do that. Oh, my desk is in there? Oh, no. <laughs> more shit inside it's ridiculous and then we finally got the couch in here this I know this is so random and you know I did a beautiful bedroom makeover over here and now we have this big-ass couch in our bedroom but we're gonna be saving money by having a couch in our bedroom <laughs> now we're gonna finish unloading the truck outside and then we'll probably go to Taco Bell in the truck, get Taco Bell, eat there, and then go back to the storage unit and clear out the rest of the furniture. The other furniture that's in there is going to be 
going to my parents' house. So we're gonna drive over there to their house, drop everything off, and then I can finally like un like go through all the boxes and stuff here and then close out the storage unit and then we'll be done. It's empty, minus the desk. Oh, that's covered in dust. You know, the storage unit, the concept of a storage unit, I think, is kind of like a black hole. It's just like, yes. whatever goes in there, just... You'll never see it again. You'll never see it again. You'll never escape. Here's a life hack. If you think you need a storage unit, throw that stuff away, because I guarantee you don't need it. A lot of the stuff we're pulling out is... Some uh, frivolous things. <laughs> yeah, like 95% of what I've put in there over the years is garbage. And I've kept maybe 5% of it so far. So just don't keep the stuff. If you have to question if you need a storage unit, don't keep the stuff. So we dropped everything off. Now we're just sitting in traffic waiting to get onto the freeway. Hello. <laughs> this guy is looking right at me. He's <laughs> staring right at us. <laughs> right at me filming a video. Um, one more car load and then we're done. But I don't know if we're gonna finish today, babe, because they close at five. Uh, and it's 3 p.m. right now. We've been doing this nonstop since <laughs> like 11. Yeah, it's been all day. I, <sighs> I did not think it would take this long, but. No. Uh, I think we can finish it today. We have two hours. This might be our last trip, but I don't think we're gonna be able to fit all of that into my car. We got the car back though. Last item. You wanna do the honors? I can't believe this is it. I don't know what side to put it on over here. Will it fit? <laughs> We gotta make it fit. It's the only thing. Oh, shoot. What to do with these? Why Why do I have these? Like, what? Why? We're done. I can't, it's like 100 degrees in the burning sun, hottest part of the day. And I'm burning, like literally burning. Embrace the moment. Embrace no. The <laughs> Goodbye, J2 Pen. Goodbye, storage unit. Goodbye. Okay, so we've kind of, okay, so I might have closed down the storage unit, but now this is like part two or three or four of actually getting rid of the storage unit is going through all the stuff that was in it. So over here we have like uh, donate stuff, which I'm gonna do a run of that today because I have so much to donate already. So I have this box, that one, these are donate this whole box, so a lot of donate. So once all that's gone, it'll look a lot less. Oh, fun story too, there's still a lot of stuff in my car that we just didn't bring in last night because it was just, our apartment was already really full. So I've already gone through like two giant trash piles over here that we've taken out already. So sorry you didn't get to see all the trash. Um, so now I'm gonna go through like all these boxes and then I will do a run for donate and more garbage, and then basically just finding new homes for everything that I end up keeping, which is hopefully not that much. I found my sewing machine, which I'm gonna keep uh, in case I decide to get into sewing and altering clothes more. So the only things that I've really kept are these curtains, because I do want to use those eventually, even though I got those probably like five years ago. I don't even know. And then the stuff on this dresser is also stuff I'm keeping, and that's basically it, just whatever is on top of the dresser. So I have barely kept much at all and we just have like a bunch of random stuff now in our living room and it's still looking like a disaster i think i'm going to donate these like empty frames and some old art that i used to have actually i think people can see me right now vlogging that's a little bit embarrassing but i'm at starbucks and just dropped off all this stuff from my car in at goodwill and feeling a little emotional this has been so hard for me I don't know. i'm gonna do a whole thing at the end of how emotional this has been for me because I'm looking into my past and a little farther than I would like to go because a lot of it is just past relationships, friendships that have ended, 
um, just a lot of memories from those kind of things and it is hard to just like face that and I wish I got rid of these things my car is really loud I don't know why <laughs> um, I wish I got rid of these things a long time ago but it is kind of therapeutic to throw them away give them away things like that so I wanted to give one final update to this video and kind of end it because at this point the storage unit's gone that's the whole point of this video so we really don't need to like drag this along even though the process for me will continue I this process for most people probably wouldn't be as emotional as it was for me I think it's because well like I said in the last clip it's looking back into my past okay let's just address that first so not only is this stuff six years old it's older than that because a lot of the stuff i had been keeping was from years prior to getting the storage unit and it was clutter in my apartment so a lot of this stuff is ancient like a decade old maybe actually i found some things <laughs> from previous relationships that were uh 15 years old so for me there was a day where i was emotional you know i found cards that i had gotten from my grandfather who recently passed away and then you know the past relationships thing that was brutal to look at honestly and i do feel lighter like just physically lighter and mentally lighter because of all of the stuff that i got rid of i probably filled a whole dumpster in my apartment <laughs> when it's out of your house it's out of sight out of mind and so you just don't really think about it but at the same time, it's haunting you because you have all this stuff. So it feels good to finally close those chapters and now just be so in the present. I do have a bunch of memory stuff that I did keep. And let me just go ahead and show you the storage and stuff. As you guys know, I have this storage unit here that I purchased from Target. I did a whole video on redoing my room and buying this so I could have more storage, specifically for clothes. But as you can see, not many clothes to be seen. I needed to find sto a storage solution for all of my books. So these two shelves are three layers deep of books. And this one too, as you can see. And then I stacked this one a little bit higher so I can store more books there. And then over here I have my binoculars, which weren't in storage. Uh, they're just there because that's where I decided to keep them. I have some memory things in the very back. And then this is a memory box. This is like a junk bin basically, but also memory box basically. And then down here we have some like crafty things and memory boxes. And then this is where I'm going to store my sewing machine. So it's not the cutest form of storage over here, but it doesn't need to be. It needs to be functional first and foremost. Also in this basket, I've kept some of those extra frames that you guys saw and just you know, random things I don't know what to do with. I hide in the basket. I've scattered some books around the house. So we have a couple books here on the side table next to our couch. So this box here and this one and this one, these are the last three things that have to go in my car to be donated. And then what's left on top is like my mom's stuff. So that's gonna go to my mom's and then Halloween decor in the bins, of course. Oh, there's Skimmel. So those are the last three things to get rid of. I've gotten rid of all the trash now. I don't have storage yet for this suitcase and I did go through it a little bit, but like not as much as I probably could have. There's a bunch to go through still and get rid of. Sorry, my cat is so vocal right now. What? What? Good boy. <laughs> And then the last thing I wanted to show you is going to be kind of a struggle to show you, but we have this nook, which is covered in stuff right now, but it's basically like a bench corner thing with a table. I don't have storage yet for all my childhood books, so we're going to figure that out. Just put a mirror on top or above the nook, so I really love that, but it's in the corner of our kitchen. But below the nook, we had this empty space and for us to have like such a small apartment i don't want to have any wasted space when we could be using it for storage or something more practical and functional so i decided to get these bins from amazon i got a pack of six for like 16 dollars. so in this one we have like gift wrap and tissue and extra gift wrapping things supplies and then in this one we have shipping stuff and extra notebooks that i found in storage so i just put them in there so Shipping envelopes, tape, things for shipping. And then we have in this one, tools like camera equipment and 
batteries and headphones, just anything like tech related. And then the last one in this side is our toolbox. So we have like our drill or we should have our drill. It's not in here right now. Uh, air pump, I don't know, hammers, my glue guns in here, matches, a picture hanging kit, just like screws and things like that. So those are basically all of my hidden storage solutions for these things. The thing that's going to be the biggest project at the, at the end of this that I'm not going to film or update you on really is the closet because I have to clear it out in order to store my Halloween decor in there in the bins. Yeah, other than that, everything is done. Everything's put away, thrown away, or given away, and I feel great. I assume that most of you don't have storage units. If you do, I hope I inspired you to get rid of it because chances are you don't need the stuff that's in there. I understand certain situations you have to have a storage unit. I once had two because I was in a situation where I didn't have space because I was living with my parents. Also I wanted to clarify my parents house was so small at the time because they lived in a duplex. It was not my childhood home. They've moved around many many times over the years and I've moved with them so many times too. That's why I don't have a house to go to that my parents own or something like that. That just doesn't exist in my life. So I hope at minimum this inspires you to declutter a little bit and just get rid of a bunch of stuff because I guarantee you have stuff to get rid of. I'm not sure how entertaining this video actually was, uh, but it was fun to film and I'm glad I documented it because like I said, it was an emotional process for me and it's gonna be something fun to remember, which sounds so stupid. It's just a storage unit, but it was a lot more than that to me. Anyway, I hope you you guys enjoyed let me know what you thought of this video in the comments and I will talk to you soon bye